hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. Welcome back to the Empire of Aquitaine as we continue under Emperor Bartomeu at the age of 42. If you're enjoying the series, then please do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It really does help support us and continue to grow. We want to try and get a hold of Galicia as soon as we can. We also have no longer got a big claim in Wales, which is a bit of a disappointment. So Dane Law is going to have to be, well, they're going to have to sit tight for now. The King of Dane Law, though, is about half of my troop count. So I'm a little concerned. So I want to expand outside of his reach. Uh, which is what we're going to do, though, in the form of Galicia. We now have a claim over the northern part, so that's for four more counties, which is pretty good. Has he built the cathedral? He has. Uh, I'm passing through Jorvik, the capital of my steward, when I receive an invitation to visit the castle. As I arrive, he welcomes me with open arms and a tour. One thing that strikes me is that the place is full of unfinished projects. Let's try and get better relations with him. Uh, my Chancellor in Lyon. A library where the books are stacked in corners, unfinished building projects all over the place. Most notably a whole dining hall and a chest of gold just standing in the middle of a hallway. Uh, let's warn him about the chest of gold. I'm going to need troops... Let's warn him about the dining hall, just because it's slightly bigger. So we're going to go to war with him. He's not going to be joining us. Let's raise the local troops. Do we need to call in an ally? We've got the King of Ireland as an option. I don't think we do. It's quite a lot of prestige. And I'm conscious that we still need to retain as much prestige as we can. So we've done all in our power to help him. Hopefully he, hopefully he will actually appreciate what we've done for him. I fear we might need a little more troops than we had initially thought. Okay, that's good. He's happy with what we've suggested. Okay, no more. No more gathering. That's more than enough. Otherwise, we're going to be costing ourselves uh, an absolute fortune. So let's merge on up. I mean, this is already going to cost us a lot. In any case, but okay, we don't need. I don't need you. And to be honest, I don't need you either. Go and kill him. You have two grand's worth. You are gonna get deleted. I don't need you. Pravia is under siege. Uh, isn't Pravia... Oh, I thought it was... Oh, that's Praha in... Ah, uh... uh, that's Praha. I'm, I'm getting confused. Right, let's see how we do in battle here. It's against the king himself. He's not got that great... Um, commander advantage. Pretty nice and easy battle for us there. Let's go take his capital. I also need to try and have myself a feast or do something to get us 
slightly more powerful personally because I'm concerned that if Danelaw was to go for independence we may have a little bit of a problem on our hands. I've invested heavily into his kingdom but he pretty much now is half our troop count. So either through alliances we need to make some strong alliances which we could feasibly do. She's not got any spouses so we could remarry her if she decides to come back. She's just left my court. But she can't marry anyone else, apparently. Okay, well that's just annoying. Right, let's continue with our siege. Let's move the troops out to go and kill, and let's give a commander who's good at sieging the opportunity here. Are we going to get you before you get out? I don't think we are. Alright, go straight back. Yeah, the chase is a bit slow for us. Okay, we did capture some people though. Let's go get Santiago. Are we getting any... No war score from prisoners, so I think... We let the battle go out. We're losing a lot more troops because a lot of my men at arms are still with them. Which is fine. Okay, now go back. We captured a prince here. And we can pick up... Embassies would be quite nice. How's France doing at the moment? I mean, they're picking up. They are... Slowly but surely picking up. Meanwhile, my little economic area is doing fairly well. Nordau's joined them now. I don't think it'll make a great deal of difference, but... Alright, we got 75k from that. How much have we won from battles? 26%, so there is still... Uh... Ooh. Alright, well he's not sieging me out, so I'm going to just siege out his towns. Okay, now my daughter can marry and she could feasibly give me an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire or the Kingdom of Italy. Or is there a duchy that's better? Yes, that's cheaper for me if I need to call him in. And the King of Danelaw is very happy with us, so we're now pretty friendly and on good terms. That's exactly what we wanted out of that. Lots of my other vassals we need to work on. We have got a fair bit of discontentment despite our uh, despite our court politics that's going on. Which is a little disappointing. Are you going to attack me? 
Apparently, yes. Ah. Now you're not. So I've got nine months to siege this out. I don't think that's going to be enough. I need more troops. Get me a couple of thousand. I'll do. He's got eight months to siege there. I've got seven here. I think we've got to push him out. Right, I'm down to six. He's still at seven. What if we split off and take everything bar the trebuchets? I don't think we even need that much to siege this out. Let's see. Still reckons we'd lose. Really? Alright. In which case we stick in. Stick with someone that's a siege specialist. Takes it down to five months. And we get this done. What's Dane Law up to? He's facing a little bit of a rebellion. I think he should be fine. Ah, I'm going to face a pretty, pretty heavy peasant rebellion in Spain. Are we still trying to promote the culture? We are. We're not trying to promote our religion though, which we need to. Probably also need to make sure... Yeah, I needed to convert my man. Damn it. You're not willing to. Okay, well for the most part the rulers are happy to convert. This war needs to end. God, thank God. I was worried that was not going to give us enough. Whew. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, okay, well let's hold on to... Everything bar this. I don't need this. We can give this away. Santiago, though, would be nice to hold on to. And Alcaruna also should be making us a nice, pretty penny. Can I take your kingdom? I need one more. Then I can take his kingdom. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too, too bad. I think we need to have a little bit of a feast. Not adopting the French culture. We're sticking as... Uh, Ocketon. We want to eliminate the French culture, ideally. I have no piety right now. Ah, the guests are going home all in a good mood. So that was a pretty quick feast. How are we in Paris right now? We're okay. Let's upgrade this. Try and get our personal troops up a little bit. Okay, we don't need all these crossbows. Too many crossbows. We've got a unit of pikes. Uh, let's swap out for some light horse.
bit of a cavalry contingent. Okay, good. So Galicia will be wrapped up pretty soon, and then we will have all of Spain. France, we have a truce. You want to pay me a hundred gold for her? Of course. Right. Arrest the mayor. Ransom him out. We're making good gold again. What's my son at the moment? I've got one son who's going to inherit everything. I gave you Aquitaine. You're not doing much, but you are a knight and you're also fairly good. I could give you this if we need to, although I'm kind of keen to hold on to it because that Grand Cathedral is pretty good for us. Do we have a court physician? We do, and he's okay. Good. Who are you married to? Ah, oh, you're married to the King of Ireland. Good. And have we got... She's taken the cloth. Ah, okay. She was a fornicator. Uh, we can grant her a pardon. We need a new spy master, so let's pick up the Duke of Gascoigne, because that's going to make him nice and happy with us. Rest of the council's fine. We need to keep Dane Law on there. Why do I have Burgundy? I don't think I need the Duchy of Burgundy, do I? I pretty much have nothing there. Uh, if he's got the capital, let's make him the Duke of Burgundy. I don't need it. Because I have absolutely nothing there, and it's also giving me a bit of a penalty. Now, my economic center is doing fine. Cordoba is pretty much upgraded as much as it can be. Gen. Can't really do much more there, so. Let's become friends with the Countess. Malaga's pretty much fully upgraded. It needs to be upgraded in its castle, but we'll get to that. Granada, I can't construct a new duchy building because I don't actually have the duchy itself. Does anyone hold it? They don't, so I could create it and then give myself the duchy building. I am now going to be suffering from that penalty again. I hold Galicia. I don't need it. To be honest. What I do need though is for you to get me Portugal's only two, but I guess we need it. Uh, spouse's skill, that's good. You're finished promo promoting the culture, that's good. We've got a little bit in France to go. Lots in Spain. We're going to try and push in Spain. France, what can we do? Oh, that's pretty good. Yes, thank you. That's what we want. Where have we got to summon some troops? Over here. 
Uh, he's got about 10k. How much are we going to get locally? Not 10k, I think. Okay. Just raise all locals. Try and give me something. And then push. He's already trying to siege Paris. Cheeky bugger. Okay, we should have sufficient forces there. I could call him in. I don't think we need to, though. We should have more than enough troops with this, because that's our professional army there. Kingdom of Mesopotamia, we will definitely take part in that. Let's make sure to get the reinforcements to join the battle in case we need them. Let's get my cousin in. It's going to be a bit of a slog, but we'll see what happens. Right, pretty much rinsing his army now. Good. Go and take that. The second army, what I might do is just pop you over there to start sieging. We still need some more light horses. It's going to take you five years. Bloody hell. Okay, we might do another trebuchet regiment. Just to at least get them sorted. No, that's not going to be adequate. Crossbows, armoured footmen, crossbows. Do, do, do. And just give me... Give me to 1200. Oh, you know what that'll do. Go. So ideally we want this war to be dealt with before the crusade starts. Galicia will have to pick up... Well, we'll see what claim we get from this. Ooh. Do we get anyone else? No, I think we'll end it because the crusade's about to start. And that's a lot of land for us in any case. So we are chewing up France quite nicely now. He's going to have substantially less troops, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted. Perfect. What are we now for troop count? Still under five. That's okay though. Do we have any claims in Scotland? Just for a ducal conquest. Which I could do on you if the need arose, but I don't think it will. Interestingly, Italy has expanded into the uh, Holy Roman Empire a fair, fair bit. Who's upset in the Liberty Faction? Let's give you a bit of a sway then. Paris, you're fine. Mm, I don't know how much we're going to get Porto, unfortunately. Uh, I need to upgrade Malaga. So I think that's what we'll spend our money on. We could consider now expanding into Africa. We have got that empire to the south. Who, in fairness, seem to be rather strong. There would be plenty for us 
to gain. So that's certainly something we can look to. And we're, well, I think we're all right faction-wise now. Um, who is this? Ignore him, steal his ideas. See how that goes for us. There we go, a manipulative hook. Dane Law, are you okay? Yeah, Dane Law seems to be alright. He is Norwegian. Let's see if we could maybe befriend him. Because that's going to ensure he remains loyal to us. And I think as long as we've got his loyalty, we won't have too many problems. He gets a weak hook on us. I don't particularly want that. Indebted myself? What does that give us? Plus 40 to the scheme power. But it does give him a weak hook. But the only thing he's really going to use is just to adjust the terms. So I'm not too worried about that. Forced vassalage is great. I think I can use that to take you out, which would be wonderful. Same with France, to be fair. It's going to cost us too much, though, but we can do that for Galicia. So let's get you back on converting the faith. Okay, he wants low-level contribution. That's fine. He's used his hook. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I think Aquitaine's coming along rather nicely. We've eaten up into France a little bit more. We've taken the north of Galicia and got a nice city in the form of Santiago. And we will force vassalization next time so that all of Spain will be ours. We've got the crusade that we need to go and support. But for now, we will end the episode there. Thank you all very much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, then please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help and all your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Hello.